the Genpei War of Japan took place in the years 1180 to 1185. Essentially, this was a civil war between two clans, more specifically two families who wanted a claim to the throne. The two sides were the Minamoto clan and the Tar clan. The end result of this war, the winner who would come out on top, would shape Japan's culture and history for centuries to come. To get an understanding of why and how the war happened, you must take a look at the big background of things, see how society functioned in the Heian period, and get an end-up look at two warring clans who would be the cause of New Japan. This is the Genpei War, happening right now at the Texas State of Asian Cultures Museum. As stated before, the Genpei War is a family civil war between two powerful warring clans who had a clean stake to the throne of Japan. In the years prior to this, uh, from the 9th century all the way forward, there was a process in Japanese culture known as dynastic shedding. This was the process of removing royal families when they became too large, too powerful, too much to handle, and too expensive to keep around. So, by removing direct descendants of the emperor to the land of the throne, the two family names were created, Minamoto, or Genji, and Tara, or Hiki. With the two rival families, there was only a matter of time before violent outbreaks happened. The first one happened in 1160 and is known as the Hogan Disturbance. It has happened when the retired Emperor Toba passed away, the two sides won the throne, and they fought each other. Both sides had supports and allies. The head of the Mimono clan, Tamayoshi, had the support of the retired Emperor Sutuku, along with the powerful Fiji war clan led by Yurinaga. The Emperor Go Shirakara had the support of Tamayoshi's eldest son who sided with the Tara clan and Yurinaga's, Yurinaga's brother, Tanamichi, who led the other faction of the Fiji war clan. As stated, this is a family affair. Now, with all the support that Emperor Go Shirakara had, he was able to quickly squash and defeat Tamayoshi and the Minamoto clan, and Tamayoshi was executed. In the same year, another disturbance broke out, known as the Heiji Disturbance. This happened because Minamoto no Yoshitamu was jealous of the victory, and because of Taro no Kirimori's claim to the throne. So while Kirimori was away from court, Yoshitomo decided to claim the vacated throne. This caused Kirimori to return early and kill and defeat uh, Yoshitomo and the clan that was fighting. So now the Tara clan was two for two and gaining and becoming an increasingly powerful family, but the Minamoto clan was not done yet. Kirimori was enjoying the spoils of his victories from winning the two disturbances and was given the title of Grand Minister of State in 1167. But then the next 10 years up to 1177, Kirimori began to lose support and allies, specifically from the now retired Go Emperor Go Shirakara, who actually plotted the assassination of Kirimori. Kirimori had a failed attempt in trying to move the royal court from Kyoto, Japan to Kobe, Japan. When this failed, he decided to put his two-year-old grandson, Antuku, on the throne. And this was the last straw. This infuriated the Minamoto clan, and thus the Genpei War began. We want to thank one of our YouTube viewers, Adam Graval, for the inspiration uh, for, yeah, to get us to do the Genpei War, uh, the distance learning video. This is fun, we are learning a lot, and we look forward to doing the rest. Look forward to the next two parts that will be coming out pretty soon. And again, for any of our viewers, if y'all have any suggestions on any particular Asian culture event that you know of, or like to know, learn more about, please feel free to comment, uh, message us on our social medias, and y'all stay safe and visit the museum whenever you get a chance. Thank you, have a great day.